DuckDB 1.2 is here, packed with new features to make SQL even more user-friendly. We're going to explore these features with help from Jeff Sackman's Tennis dataset. So let's launch DuckDB, and then we're going to create ourselves a variable referring to one of the CSV files in the dataset. We'll then call the describe clause from read CSV, and then we'll get the variable for that URI. And you can see it comes back. So this is the data that we're working with. So we've got a player ID, name first, name last, hand, so that's the hand they play tennis with, date of birth, IOC is the country they're from, height, and then wiki data ID. Now the first feature added in DuckDB 1.2 is support for column names when using the create table as clause. So what we would do before, or what we can still do now even, is we'd say create or replace table players as select star from read CSV and then pass in the variable for the URI. And that will create us a table. We can then describe the table and you can see it comes up with exactly the same fields that we saw when we described the CSV file itself. In 1.2, we can add column names just after the table name. So we could use the same names as the source data or we can use our own names. Values in the source data or the source file are mapped in order to those co table column names. So the first column is ID, the second column is name F, the third column is name L, and so on. And if we describe players, you can see that the new table now has those names. We can explicitly define only some column names if we want, but the assigned names always start from the beginning of the source data. The remaining columns will use the names that the source data uses. So in this one, if we do describe, you can see ID, name F, name L, hand, DOB, and IOC, those were the ones that we defined, and then height and wiki data ID, those came because they were extra columns that we didn't specify in the list, so those have just used the names from the source data. One thing to keep in mind is you can't define more column names than there are values in your in your query, in your source data. So if we try to do that, you'll get this binder error, target table has more columns than query result. Okay, now it's time for feature number two. So this is select star similar to and select star like. So imagine that we want to get back just the fields that have name. So one way we would do that before would be we'll say select columns and then name dot star. And in this case, we'll order it by height and get ourselves five records. Now in DuckDB 1.2, one thing we can do is we can do similar to and then keep our expression the same, our regex, and we get back the same results. We can also use like, but if we use like, we need to use SQL wildcard syntax instead. Again, same results. We can also do not like, and now you get all the fields except for the ones which are name. And then there's also I like, so that means it's case insensitive. And so if we change that capital N, it's still gonna match the name fields. Next up, feature number three. So this is select star rename. So let's say we're writing a query where we wanna rename name F and name L. Now we could do this by excluding those columns and then adding them at the end using aliases. But a nice a way of doing this is that we can use this new rename clause. We can say name F as first name, name L as surname, and then run that query again. And what's cool about this is it keeps them in their same place in the column list. And now for the last feature. So this is prefix aliases. So the idea here is that if we're saying from, we can put the alias at the beginning. So rather than saying players as P, we can say P colon players. And then we can do that for reading from tables, and we can also do that from columns. So we can say select first name colon p dot name f, surname p dot name l, and country. And you can see we then get back the result using those alias names. So these updates make DuckDB even better, but there is more. Check out this video to dive into its existing friendly SQL features.